So I wanted to go to Ireland since I was a kid. I've always wanted to listen to some real trad music, try some real Irish Guinness. Do you like Guinness, Erin? No. And touch the fluffy grass. <laughs> There's only so much nature I can handle. But when it comes to Irish fashion, I kept coming across this viral thread. For someone who tries to be fashion on Ireland, I wore a red beret once in Waterbrooks. <laughs> <laughs> so I became curious. What is it really like to dress out of the box in Ireland? So I set off on a cross-country road trip to find out. I'm Lachlan, this is Ralph Ren, this is Sheen, Charity Shaw, who's in Brad Thomas or Converse. My name's Leo, I'm just wearing his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> These are my trousers from Penny's, Converse from Converse, vintage jacket of Charity Shaw. This is from Zara. Are you, are you yeah, yeah, hello, what's your name? Hi, my name is Neve. I got this for free on adverts. These pants are from Stradivarius. Love. Adidas. Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what about you? Hello! I'm Dara Rua. Um, charity shops. Charity shops. Charity shops. That's it. Amazing. Yeah, let, let's just go through. Okay, you got, you got a tweed. I got the, I got the feather off a seagull. <laughs> In George's Arcade, I stumbled across a really unique shop selling alternative basics and accessories. At first I thought it was a thrift shop, but I soon realized that the shop was alive with tutus, corsets, and all manner of punk accessories very close to my heart. I am so sorry, I totally forgot the name of the shop. Any Dubliners, please feel free to yell at me down in the comments and then also say the name of the shop if you know it. So what's your name? Izzy. Can you walk me through your outfit, what you're wearing? Well, I'm wearing one of my old school shirts from secondary school, but I cut off the sleeves this morning because it's too warm. I love that. And I'm wearing like a really long skirt that I used to wear in my old job. It was very fancy, so, so I had to cute. buy a long one. Yes. And some fishnets, some knee socks I got from a friend, and some buffalo white sneakers. Love and it. Of course, all of my chains and ah, ha, ha. And my animal vertebrae earrings. I've never met anybody with animal vertebrae earrings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm so fascinated by bones and everything, so like anything I can get my hands on. Talking to Izzy made me realize that there is a thriving alternative subculture right in the heart of Temple Bar. While Temple Bar is mostly known for this, and hooligans acting like this. Can we do with the head? Your friend is very funny. <laughs> Come on, you have to do it now. You have to do it. You have to do it. I was curious what it was like to be punk rock in Dublin. Got this dress just in there. Oh, cool. This is my dad's shirt. Love. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Post. At a car boot sale two days ago. Oh my god, you got skull earrings. Oh, yes, I do. I got them off of Depop as well. My name is Ella Rose. Trousers and pennies. I think I got this in pennies as well. My belt, I think, is Donna Karen. Runners are also from pennies. I'm not as fancy. I'm someone who tries to be fashionable on Ireland. I wore a red beret once in Waterbrooks. Sounds like something I would call someone. Have you guys ever called your friends something like that, good-naturedly? <laughs> call each other alone. Have you ever been called something by your friends or on the street just for wearing something? Yes, I've been screamed emo at across the road. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, homophobic slurs. Yeah. Ooh, wow. It's not very nice. But, not very know, nice. It just tells me that I look really good. Why do you think Ireland has such a relationship with the unordinary? People are basic and they don't like people who are cool. The country kind of is very old fashioned. It likes uh -huh. staying inside the lines and when people go outside the lines, they don't like that at all. Do you think it's changed over the last couple of years? Oh yeah, definitely. Like if I wore one of the outfits I wear now in like 2015, I feel like I would have been yelled out way more. It's a lot more accepting, especially after quarantine because everyone kind of found a style yeah. in quarantine. I did, I did not dress like this before quarantine. <laughs> really? I am very grateful for quarantine. <laughs> making me get a grip on fashion. <laughs> I think it has improved over the years and I hope it will as well. Where is your sweatshirt from? From Urban Outfitters. Oh really? The shirt underneath? H &M. And then your tight? I think Tesco. Tesco? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Tesco's one. Shoe down the road or something. Nice. Like it's a shoe shop. <laughs> That's so cool. And uh, your bag? Uh, I think I got it in a charity shop. It's charity shop? What's like the funniest nickname you've been called by your friends or like in public? Oh, it's all just emo leprechaun or something like that. Emo <laughs> leprechaun? Why do you think Ireland has this relationship with the unordinary? It's only recently that people started really like going different fashion ways. Really? Why do you think it's like changed over the past couple of years? I think people just kind of grow up and uh -huh. it's not as strict anymore. Ireland itself is based on kind of Christian things as much as it was. Yeah. So people kind of 
Where should I start? So, I just bought them a while ago. Jeans my friend gave me. They had that hole when he gave it to me, so I liked that already. And then I, they, put, I put another one in with a little knife, so it was even. <laughs> this one, friend gave me that as well. Got from a vintage shop, Dublin City Vintage. Started during the lockdown, so it's two years. Oh, wow! So this is one of my songs. This is a new single, actually. Well, I walk around this place on the streets, and sometimes I don't like the smell of my feet, but I don't <laughs> Because I like the air when it doesn't smell like this. Um, Aaron is driving down a very windy road right now, but I left Dublin to go on a road trip with Aaron for a week. You were born in England, but your family lives in our itinerary is to start off in the Aran Islands where some of your family Whoops. <laughs> I don't know how like it's gonna be a bumpy road. I'm just gonna hold it because it's like, what? Such a I'm not dramatic, I'm holding a camera. Our itinerary is to start off in Aran Islands where Aaron's family's from. We're not gonna film that so much because it's still in private, but then we're gonna go to Galway to, you know, sip some of the, whoop! <laughs> you're not, now you're gonna tell me that's too dramatic? It's <laughs> at the Mauer Park flea market in Germany. I literally cropped it two days ago <laughs> with Aaron scissors. Uh huh. I think it came out okay, right? Yeah, it yeah. looks cool. Can we die? Can we die? Oh, so Absolutely. Wait, <laughs> let's... Where are you from? Okay, I'm from LA. Oh my what? god. <laughs> what? My name is Julia Peppers. Uh, I'm from Mullingai. You're Mula. Mula. <laughs> we call it Mula and this is how you dab people up. You this is, this is, this yeah, is. Show them what you're wearing. <laughs> Jim King. <laughs> a little denim jacket and a little top. It has sleeves as well. Love that it. Maya, show us what you're wearing. Amaya. Uh, <laughs> you your, your sheen leggings. Yes. The, pen, the pennies. Yes. And the North Face. The North Face. Love yeah. it. Why did you come to the flat? Is oh, it like a, here. you live here. Yeah, we, we live here. We're just going into town. And there's a bunch yeah. of other people. Are you like into trad music at all? No. So no. I'm wearing this jumper I got from Sheen today, from my package off Sheen today. Love it. And I got these leggings off Sheen as well. <laughs> these are my cousin's Yo, shoes. From, I stole them out of her bedroom. <laughs> um, I have a note ring that are the most person that I got off Sheen as well. Oh, we and I have this. Love. Her hair thing. That's so cool. Can I see it? Oh, yeah. Uh, when did you do that? In Spain, like a month ago. Oh, really? That's so cool. What's your name? Gemma. Gemma. Oh wait, and y'all y'all are wearing like matching leggings. Yeah. I see. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Oh, I'm busy being a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Erin, my little potato soup. Tell me what you're wearing. I'm wearing a dress. This is from Penny's from Pitchin. I love what you did with this pencil score underneath. You know that that is exactly something that I would do also. Oh! That one's from Granny. It's a claddering. Claddering? A traditional Irish wedding ring. If you wear it this way, it means that you're single. This way is in a relationship. <laughs> if you are on the other hand, it's married and engaged. And you are? Single. <laughs> Time for a little bit of a real talk. Basically, I think Erin knows that I've just not been feeling well. I don't know what's wrong with me, whether I'm suffering from low blood sugar, dehydration. I am so nauseous and dizzy right now. This video may not be an accurate representation of everything in Ireland, but like also just know that I'm not feeling well. You're doing your best. And I'm not able to get to everything even though I want to. So just bear with me, okay? Solo traveling by yourself is a lot. And then also just like I'm editing everything by myself and I'm like filming everything by myself. And it has to be on time. And 
It's affecting my health. In order to calm my rising burnout, Erin and I both decided to ditch the filming and outfits for a few hours and set out to accomplish what I really came to Ireland to do, touch the fluffy grass. You see all that beautiful grass over there hidden by all of this, 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 whatever this is? Erin, do you want to show your legs? Ah, also mine. <laughs> oh my god, we were like very stupid and we wanted to try to like cross this to get to like the fluffy grass, but it was impossible and now our legs are just stinking with nettle. Finding some public fluffy grass though was actually harder than we thought until we stumbled upon what looked like the perfect patch of fluffy grass. Until... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Get me out of here. There's only so much nature I can handle. That was the biggest bumblebee I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, we were ready to give up. Now we're in Ireland and we can't even find a patch of fluffy grass. When all of a sudden, by the side of a very public road, we have like a show to get to in like 15 minutes, but I found fluffy grass. Run, so let's yeah, let's <laughs> run. Let's go. <laughs> and now, the side of the road. <laughs> this is what I need. Mean. This is what I need. Mean. My bucket list. <laughs> Very mm -hmm. well, let's go. In the merry month of June, <laughs> from the home I started, left the girls a tune, nearly broken hearted, salute to father dear. Kiss me, darling mother, drank a pint of beer, my grief and tears. Okay, so those are horses. This is the Liberty Market. Market. It's the oldest market left in Dublin. Wow. Get the clothes half price here. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Cheaper than the shops. This is a really cool place to check out if you're in the Liberties. Like, it's so, so low. I actually feel a little bit awkward filming because it's like so not a touristy place. So, is this like a trendy place? Like, is this what like all the Irish girls are wearing? Yeah, like this is like fashion at the minute. Like, every few months, it changes so very quick. You could come in here. The shop would be all multicolors, bright, all the different styles. We'd have like all the neon colors now. Uh huh. At the minute. Give it another month or two, and you come in here and it'd be just full of four coats, boots. Really? Oh, the whole shop is a completely different shop. My name's Kieran. Jacket and the shirt, both from TK Maxx. Actually, and the trousers as well, all from TK Maxx. Whatever your collar, I guess you'd call it. I got yeah. it from a shop in Saloon in Spain. Cool. Um, these are just docks, plain old docks. Nice. Are you wearing nail polish? Can I see that? Yes. I broke one of my nails. It's, uh, they're a bit of a mess right now, but yeah. So like, there's this thread that I saw on Twitter, basically that just went viral about like a lot of people sharing like how they went out on the streets of Dublin or Ireland and then they got called out and made, made fun of for something that they wore. Yeah. Has that ever happened to you? I think it has a couple of times, more if I'm dressed more feminine. Right, um, and then at one time when I was wearing a witch's hat. Uh, hello, what's your name? Uh, Mikey. Hello, nice to meet you. And uh, what are you wearing? Where's your shirt from? Uh, I think this is from Bershka. I only bought it yesterday. And cool. these are my penny's finest. I used to work there, so I got a good discount. Urban Outfitters, I think. I got these in Paris last week, and I think it's Zara. Yeah, my family's from Kerry, and I wore this outfit in Kerry before, and I got absolutely slated for it. But you know what? I was the baddest bitch in Kerry, so. Hi, I'm Luca. Hello. I'm from Austria, I'm 20 years old. Nice to meet you. Today I'm wearing a blue jacket, like a blue and beige shirt, and the blue jeans with. Gracious. How long have you been here? For about one week. Have you had any like funny interactions with Irish people while you've been here? Uh, many Irish guys like winked at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a common thing or not, but I find it really charming. That's so funny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 